My name is Brigadier General Terry Williams, Assistant Deputy Commandant for Installations and Logistics for the United States Marine Corps. And we're developing a conceptual framework for how we will support the Marine Air Ground Task Force of 2025 and beyond. In today's Marine Corps, we're in the midst of what we call an evolution in logistics affairs. On the one hand, our current inventory of aircraft, vehicles, and weapons is more lethal, more maneuverable, and more survivable than at any other time in our history. Yet on the other hand, these systems are heavier and more logistically intensive. To solve our logistical challenges of the 21st century, we need your ideas and feedback. Now let's take a look at what warfare was like in the 20th century. Inching through swamps and jungle ambushes on their bellies. Supported by the damnedest concentration of three-dimensional firepower you ever saw. The long toms. Ships. Air power. We threw it at them and kept it going. Today and in the future, Marines will be fighting in five domains. Air, land, and sea. As well as space and cyberspace. As we look into the 21st century combat operations, the logistical challenges have increased exponentially. The equipment is heavier, harder to maintain, and consumes more fuel. In World War II, vehicles like the iconic Jeep weighed only 2,400 pounds and got 16 miles to the gallon, while the new joint light tactical vehicle will weigh 18,000 pounds and get less than six miles per gallon. Other modern platforms, like the CH-53K, MV-22, and the F-35, each offer exquisite warfighting capabilities, yet each will require logistics concepts and capabilities that ensure their potential is maximized. We believe we are in an era of hybrid logistics. We will still have to move large quantities of fuel, water, and ammunition throughout the battle space. However, unmanned platforms, 3D printing, and predictive supply and maintenance have the potential to optimize tactical distribution, modernize the supply chain, and increase equipment readiness. We envision a flattened supply chain with 3D capability arrayed in key forward operational and tactical locations, ready to manufacture good enough parts for emergent operational requirements. In the medical realm, we are looking at the use of unmanned platforms, both sea and air, to move patients to medical facilities. Other initiatives include the introduction of polymer ammunition, robotic dogs, and exoskeletons that will reduce the load on the individual Marine in the fight. We want each Marine to become a producer rather than a consumer of logistics through advanced water filtration systems, solar panels on packs to charge batteries, and even devices that can capture the energy generated by Marines' movement in the fight. Lastly and most importantly, we'll need logistics Marines in each element of the Marine Air Ground Task Force who are educated, trained, and mentored in a way that increases their proficiency in multiple logistics disciplines, incentivizes innovation, and rewards initiative. Hybrid logistics, the blend of old and new methods of sustaining Marines in combat, will require the logistics community that questions conventional wisdom without ignoring the realities of the modern battlefield.